Not that I don't enjoy the company of you gentlemen, but I uh, thought we might bring a lovely gal out here tonight. You all know her. She, uh, she hasn't been with us for some time, but she began her career in, uh, I guess, what they refer to as the golden days of Hollywood, as a contract player for MGM. These days, she uh, works nightclubs, television, and will be opening with uh, Sammy Davis in, uh, in May in Las Vegas. Would you welcome Miss Gloria DeHaven? <laughs> What do you mean, too dirty? Now, you see that right away. He's a naughty man. Interesting image, you see. He's a naughty man. Isn't that the image, though, that people have when they have the hair gets a little long? I think and she met him. Oh, he's talking to McLean. McLean? Oh. A straight guy. That's Definitely funny that he goes to the straight guy and says, oh, filthy, oh, dirty. He is a very dirty old man. I didn't see that. I thought you were talking yes. to George. And I says, you see the no, whole thing McLean because the hair is long. Hello, Ed. How are you? How have you been, dear? Terrific. So you dress up. You see, so many gals come on the show and they wear the little slacks now and the, and the well, casual. Well, I don't know. And you I, really I, came I, out I with tell you, I must be very honest. Feathers. I must be very honest about this and why I'm dressed the way I am. I asked who was going to be on the show, and I found out that I was, a, you know, the only lady. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be terrible for women's lib, but I thought, wow, what a great moment, you know, because I, I really don't believe in women's lib. You don't? No, I do not. I don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dead against it. No, I'm 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 a follower, not a leader. I want a fella to tell me where to go, what to do, how it's going to happen, really? all of that. Oh yeah, love it, love it, yeah, love it. And I found out that it was going to be all gentlemen, and I thought this is my moment. You know, why come out looking like you know in the turtleneck and the slacks and looking the like a fella? Female lumberjack or something. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I want to be a girl. I want to I be a girl. I haven't met too many female I would love to be a girl, but that passed a long time ago. But I'd like no, to no, put it this way. No, I'd like to be a woman. How's well, that? Nice. How do you, how's that grab you? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You, you, you smell like one. Are, uh, I do? Terrific. Yes. You yes. like that? It smells like Florida. You smell like gardenias. <laughs> <laughs> so evil. What's it called? Jungle gardenia. Jungle gardenia. Yes. See, the dirty old man would know that, yes, wouldn't he? Of course he would. Yeah. You guys like to get a camper for a while? Is it... <laughs> Go with They're going to be awfully lonely because I won't be in it. Three guys, like you'd never said three guys on leave all of a sudden. A no, woman walks out. Hey, hey, hey. I, th I think, you Go see, bananas. that's what you I think. You see what you've done already? I think that's what's absolutely stupendous. I think it's marvelous. What are we all about? I you mean, do women. smell nice. What are women? <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys it. have been out here too long. Oh, right. I love it. I love it. Do you change no. your perfume depending on the mood that you... Uh, no, not really. Wear the same? No. You find body oils are different. Chemistry is different. Uh, if, For instance, Joy, which is yeah. a very expensive perfume. Very expensive. Probably the most expensive. I have adored on people. And I've said, uh, what are you wearing? And someone has said, Joy. And I said, oh, that's what I have to have. No. Then I go and find out that it's... Um, 80 million dollars for like you know that much and you say can do next without week I'll yeah. yes i can do without that we had dr can... david rubin on the show last Wait night a minute. Oh, excuse I me i'm finished. sorry oh i'm sorry I you're, you're a, a woman job. yes no so no i just have to tell you this because it's funny you asked me a question and yes i did i'm sorry so chemistries and body things are different so now i have a six dollar perfume is what i'm trying to tell you or cologne that evidently everyone likes the scent or likes what's happening and that's me six i mean that's my body perfume. chemistry and every lady in the audience or gentleman too what Whatever they wear. Should smell your, better, right? No, your body odor, your, your own body chemistry makes the odor happen, you nice. know? No, not B.O. Well, you're tacky. No. You're very tacky. Well, this very is what tacky I was trying to say, audience, that last say. night Dr. Rubin said that we're, we're too antiseptic in this country. People put on too much deodorant, too much aftershave, too much because then they mask the natural body. Absolutely. Uh, Nothing greater which is a, than your which can own be very attractive odor, sometimes. your own body, well, smell, Europe, skin. Uh, yes, that's in right. Europe. Nothing we talk. People can always tell when an American gets in the elevator, it's the aluminum chlorhydroxide. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Absolutely. <laughs> The breath is too fresh, and there's no dandruff on the shoulders, and none of those nice well, things. Well, I, I think work. dandruff is tacky, but, the, you know, that's a little tacky. You should use a shampoo to help that. But as far as your own body odor, I think that's terrific. I think it's personal. I think a man can fall in love with that, and I mean it, can fall in love with your personal 
kind of scent, and I think that's super. I really mean it. Absolutely. Maybe I'm sounding uh, Well, animals only strange. work for that. I, I think I... Yeah. <laughs> but then I am. Oh, I know. I am. Am, am, am. All right. Exactly what time of night did I lose control of this... <laughs> Lose control of this conversation. You didn't. You didn't. No. You didn't. You didn't. What's going to happen? You're going to you're going to work with Sammy in Las Vegas. Yeah, I just I finished be. working with Sammy in uh, Miami. Right. At the Diplomat, and he had uh, what scared him to death. What they he thought was a heart attack, which was not the case. It was fatigue. Well, he just works too much. Oh, he does. I mean, you know, one can one can work very hard. At least my degree of what I consider very hard, because I have a very private kind of life, and I I haven't terribly ordered life. I do. You can laugh. I do. I have lots of children. I'm a grandmother, so not Are you just knock it off, will you please? I'm Are you a grandmother. grandmother? I certainly am. A seven-month-old girl. I'm a grandmother, yes. I didn't realize that. Yes, I certainly am. You're a nice but I do have a fair thank you. I do have a fairly ordered life and I could be a grandfather, come to think of it. Except none of my kids are married be. yet. No, but none of my They're well, all over the place and you just don't know about well, it. Well, I certainly hope I <laughs> No, John, be no, no, honest no, no. about it. You're a grand. No, none of my children are. My boys are married yet. I didn't speak about that. I was well, that's true, I suppose. I All right. Be. But one can be at our age grandparents, right? Certainly. All right. That's all I said. Oh, my God. Why did I ever hate, open this? Hate to think anyway, of it. I'm saying that I think it's a very uh, a special and individual thing when someone works very hard. And, yeah. and Sammy Davis works very hard. He, there's nothing he does halfway. He's super. He's an extraordinary personality, and he just ran out of gas. That's no. what he did. He ran out of steam. You know? But he won't go to work, and they'll tell him. Oh, he'll never, take a day never. Off, oh, he's marvelous. In fact, I've got to tell you this very quickly. The night that he did collapse in Miami, we had worked for about a week, and he was sensational. All of a sudden, we got the word that he was in a hospital. Am I, uh, am I keeping you up? Oh no, I just a bad habit I have. Oh. Um, I think I've, I, I think I just lost control a moment ago. What, what did I do? I just, just it's all right. for the sake, does this bother you? I'll put it out. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm trying to say something very nice about the man because oh, he's God. super. But he, he was not able to perform, right? So all of a sudden they said to me, we have a house full of people. We're going to announce that Sammy Davis cannot perform. And I naturally figured that I would not have to perform. I came downstairs and they said, the house is full and you're going on. Now that's a very difficult spot to be in because no one replaces Sammy Davis. There just isn't anybody else. And I went out to the audience and I said, he's fine, he's just marvelous. In fact, we're going to have to tie him down. He wants to work tonight and he really did. And I said, but I have to, and it was terribly true, I said, I have to confess that um, I thought he'd never get sick. I felt like Shirley MacLaine, the girl in the chorus, you know, that finally says, this is your night, you go on, you know. I had a whole audience all by myself. Did you go on? Certainly, I worked for an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes, and I had a ball. It was marvelous. And nobody left, which was terrific. Nobody left. MacLean, you'll find out how that works when Glenn it. Campbell it gets sick. <laughs> they'll, say, Glenn, they'll say, Mac, you're on for an hour and a half. <laughs> Glenn will fall off his hair and hurt himself. You'll be on. But there's no one like there's no one like him. He's he's fine now. In fact, he just arrived. I think we lost. McLean. What's going with McLean over here? I think we lost him. I don't know. Well, part of him is still in Florida. Sam. Yes. I've got to just say one thing before you do the. Oh, okay. Etc. 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 Gave me a chance to show the dress. I was waiting yeah. for a moment. All right. Um, yeah, what, what, else, what else would you... Before you say, honest to God, no, I've been kidding, etc. Et I must have a thing about and I don't know what it is. Maybe I like the sound better. Yeah, or the smell. Maybe it's the smell. It might be. We'll, uh... We'll return after this word from Gentle Excedrin et PM, the pain reliever that helps you and is certainly going to help me get a good night's sleep. Oh, clock on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Fell on the floor. Hey, I thank you all for being here. Thank you, Gloria. Thank really. Thank you for... very much. Good night.